Welcome to our live training session, continuing in our quiz game series with session two. In this session, we are going to continue from session one. In session one, we started out by looking at the idea of separating your game logic and your game data scripts. And set, we set up a basic quiz game where there are questions and you have to answer three of them before the timer runs out. And so the data in this game are the questions and the answers and then a few other pieces of information like the round length, how many points you get for a correct answer. And so in the first session, we set up an architecture where all of the data is separate from the game logic. And so we're gonna continue with that today by now taking our data and loading it from a text file, in this case, using the JSON data format. And so we're gonna be looking at the JSON utility class and how to serialize and deserialize Unity objects to and from JSON. We're also going to do some basic high score saving using the player prefs class, which is useful if you wanna just save simple, simple information like single numbers. And lastly, we are going to write a simple editor script, which will allow us to load and save our question and answer data, our game data, uh, in the Unity Editor via an editor window. So first, I'm gonna show you guys the completed version of the project. If you are following along live, I've linked in the chat a bit.ly link, which will allow you to download the assets. If you're following on the archive, this is the link here, bit.ly, Unity Quiz Game 2 and this will allow you to download the starting point for this project as a zip file. And so the, the project we have here is completed, and in a minute I'm gonna switch over to an incomplete version of the project so we can start the session. So let's just take a look at what we are going to build in the end. So I'm gonna play my scene. And so as you can see, if you started session one, we've added a little bit of color and some better fonts to this to make it look nicer, thanks to Pete Lee uh, on the R&D content team for, for helping out with that. And so we have a menu screen, we can hit start and it will take us into the game. We have a timer counting down and then we have a question and two buttons for our answers. Let's give a false answer and say that lions are not carnivores. We'll say that frogs eat pizza and we'll give a correct answer here that mice live not in the sea, but on land. And so in this case, our score was 10, and now our high score is 10. We can return to the main menu and play again. Let's give all false answers this time. And we can see that our high score persists through rounds, and it also will persist. I'm just exiting play mode and restarting. Let's give all false answers again, false pizza on the moon. And we can see that our high score persists between play sessions. And so that's accomplished using player prefs. And that's the first thing that we'll look at how to set up. We can also see in the project that we have this streaming assets folder and we have this data file inside it. Let's reveal that in the Explorer. And I'm gonna double click it to open it in a text editor, in this case, Notepad. Here, we can see the JSON representation of our data, and we can actually edit it directly. So let's say if I wanna change this to lions are meat eaters, I can just edit that in the text file, hit save, and play my game. And now we can see that the data has been updated. And so we're gonna talk about the use of this streaming assets folder, why we're using that, and loading and saving our data to JSON. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at creating this game data editor window, which we're gonna create using some editor scripting. 
And what this allows us to do is to load the data that's saved in that JSON file, make some changes. Let's say, let's switch it back to lions are carnivores. Hit the save button and play. And we can see that that data has now populated into the game. So a couple of different, two different approaches to saving and loading data, one using player prefs, one using JSON, and a little bit of editor scripting so that we can edit our data uh, inside an editor window in Unity. So this is the completed version of the project. I'm gonna close this, and we are going to begin in the incomplete version of the project, which you can download from the link that I provided. And so I've left the streaming assets folder and the JSON data in here uh, so that we have some data to test with and I don't have to type everything in on the stream, but you could also add those things manually yourself if you want to. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to implement is going to be saving and loading high scores via player prefs. I'm gonna to get to that in the next segment. Let me take a look at the chat and make sure that everybody's getting started okay, uh, and then we'll continue. GameCoder28 asks, can you use the data saving in a different format, e.g. you could save points? Uh, yes, you can save any data that you want. Uh, it's really just up to you what variables you wanna save. And the question is, when you build the game into an app file, would the app require a separate file? That's what the streaming assets folder is for. So that will that data file is going to remain independent of our application, and we're going to talk about that. 